choice with a word from the box. And our choices are peace, mission, silent, Pentecost Sunday, and hymns. So these are all words that have come from the past few chapters that we worked on. So number one says we celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit on, well, we know that happens on Pentecost Sunday. So for number one, you're going to write Pentecost Sunday. And I'm going to write it here. Don't forget that your P and your S should be uppercase because uh, whenever we're writing the proper name of a day or a specific holiday, um, it needs to be uppercase. And do your best to fit both words on that line. You'll see mine's going to run off a little. Um, but that's okay. I'll add my period there. And just make sure that um, you're using your best handwriting. And if you need to pause to finish writing it, go ahead. Take your time and then you can unpause. And I'll move on now to number two. As Christians, our blank is to love and serve others. Do you remember what it is as Christians? It is our mission to love and serve others. So for number two, you can write mission. M-I-S-S-I-O-N. It is our mission. Okay, let's move on now. Number three, all Catholics should try to live in blank with everyone. We should try to live in peace with everyone. So you can write peace for number three. And again, if I'm going too quickly, just go ahead and pause. Get yours done and then unpause. Number four, a blank prayer can help us feel the love and peace of the Holy Spirit. A silent prayer. Remember, we don't have to pray always out loud. Sometimes we can pray just in our minds and heart. Sometimes those are the best prayers that we can say because we know the Holy Spirit can hear our thoughts and our prayers. Okay, and that leaves our last word is hymns. And let's check to make sure that it's correct. Holy songs that lift our hearts to God are called hymns. That is correct. So for your last one there, number five, you're going to write hymns, H-Y-M-N-S. And I apologize that I struggle to fit the whole page in the camera view when I'm trying to handwrite them. There we go. Uh, you can pause it there if you need to and write them down. I can't always fit it. Um, my basement classroom isn't always as convenient as my classroom classroom. <laughs> um, all right, if we turn now to the other side here, we're going to be connecting. Um, there are questions and answers, so we'll draw a line from the question to the answer. Number one says, who helped the apostles to teach people about Jesus? Who did that? St. Cecilia, the Holy Spirit, St. Francis Xavier, or St. Paul? Well, let's think. We know that the Holy Spirit was what came to the apostles, appeared over their heads, and then helped them share the good news. So for number one, we're going to say the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Okay, so you can draw your line there from number one to the Holy Spirit. skill to have boys and girls to be able to use your book to look up information um, my daughter Aubrey who is in middle school right now when she's doing her work sometimes she'll say mom can you help me with this one and I'll say well did you look back in the book because all the information is there sometimes we just have to go back and refresh it okay so now the next one number three says who showed Christians in Rome how to pray with music I showed you in here let me Remind you again that St. Cecilia was the one who shared her joy with others and taught them how to sing and pray with music. So for that one, we're going to go up to St. Cecilia. And then our last one, who baptized many people in India and Japan? St. Francis Xavier. And then down here, part E, one way you can answer God's call to serve others. That's going to be different for each one of you, okay? Some of us are called to serve by helping other 
people, giving to the poor. Some of us, maybe you'll grow up and be a priest, or maybe you're called to serve by teaching your friends about Jesus. Maybe you're called to serve by um, helping your family at home during this quarantine time. You can come up with any sentence you want for that and tell me um, one way that you can answer God's call to serve other people, okay? All right, boys and girls, make sure you go over this and the other page tonight so that tomorrow when you take your test, you've got all of that information locked in your brain, okay? We'll see you later. Bye.